Thanksgiving dinner ingredients are costing us less this year than last. Consumer reporter John Mettery shows us the savings and how to save even more in his Don't Waste Your Money report. Some good news about Thanksgiving dinner this week. Prices on turkeys in central Pennsylvania are down this year. But what about everything else? We wanted to know what your Thanksgiving dinner will cost you. Charmaine Kitsani was picking up a few things for Thanksgiving and watching every dollar. You want to keep up with traditions, but it's harder when everything's more expensive. But some good news. The American Farm Bureau says inflation is taking a break after three years of higher prices. The average cost of a family's Thanksgiving dinner will be $67, down 4% from last year's record high. Turkey, down nearly 10% this year. Eggs, down 30%. Cranberry sauce, down 18%. Even pie crust, down 10%. But remember, these price declines are after big run-ups ever since 2020. Prices on turkey and other things are still up since pre-pandemic times. But there are some things you can do right now to keep those costs down. Lots of different celeries, carrots. Nutritionist Kayla Pasquale says fresh food is always desirable, but she says it's not a bad idea to do some combination of fresh, frozen, and canned. She says frozen turkey and vegetables are just as nutritious as these fresh veggies. Fresh might take a couple weeks to travel from the farm to the shelf. You don't get that with frozen. It's pretty much all locked in there. Kayla's last tip, fresh potatoes give you the most bang for the buck on your Thanksgiving table. Really good source of potassium and they do a really good job of keeping us fuller longer. That's helpful for Charmaine. You have to watch the budget and make different choices about what you might want to provide. So with turkey and egg prices down and other prices leveling off, this year should be a little bit easier on your wallet. Now we don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, ABC 27 News.